What's considered normal for one culture may seem entirely bizarre to another, but everyone has some way of showing their interest in the opposite sex. Here are 10 crazy courtship rituals around the world. Severed Heads In Taiwan, the indigenous tribe known as the Atayao, courting involved bringing back a severed head after a battle. The men would present the head of the enemy to the woman of their choice attempting to woo her. If she accepted, the head was put on display for everyone to see. This practice continued until the 1930s when Japanese occupiers ruled that headhunting, facial tattoos, and other such activities were to cease. In a letter written by Richard Oldham in 1864, he explained how it was dangerous to wander into the mountains near Tamsui in spring because that was when young headhunters would venture out to capture their prize. Love Huts There are two tribes in Africa, the Zulus and the Krung, which build love huts for their daughters when they come of age. When a girl is ready to marry, these tribes build similar structures but have very different views on their use. In the Krung tribe in Cambodia's northeast area, fathers encourage their daughters to take as many men as she wishes into her hut, which is separate from her parents' house, in order to find a desirable husband. While it may sound strange, these rituals lower instances of rape and divorce. The Zulu's tribe is a little stricter as the huts are only built near the end of the courtship of their daughters. Having the hut away from the home shows that the father is not ready to acknowledge the relationship. Fathers only officially recognize the man when he asks for cattle in exchange for his blessing. Night Hunting Formerly known as Bomina, night hunting has been a tradition among young men for generations. It began in eastern rural areas of Bhutan and is still going strong to this day. The purpose of night hunting is for young men to sneak into the rooms of young women and spend the night. If they are caught, they must either marry the young woman or work in her father's fields to pay off her family. Sometimes the women become pregnant from these encounters. As such, new laws were put into place to protect the girls and DNA testing is available to find the fathers. Many homes now install metal bars and locks on their doors and windows if they have daughters. There have even been debates on whether or not this practice should be allowed to continue. Bride Buying while the concept of buying a bride may seem like slavery to some, it has actually been a long-standing tradition in Thailand. In the province of Chiang Rai, unmarried couples begin dating in order to get to know each other after an initial interest is shown by flirting. However, once things begin to become serious between the two, they must go before the young woman's mother. The potential husband must then negotiate a price to buy time with the daughter. This time can range from a few days up to a year. Should he wish to marry her at the end of that time, he must return to the woman's mother and negotiate once more to buy her outright. Sisters Meal Festival Every April, girls from the Miao ethnic group in southwest China dress ornately and participate in the Sisters Meal Festival. Unmarried young women prepare rice in four different colors, each representing a season, then wrap the cooked rice in handkerchiefs. Suitors compete for their attention by serenading them. The girls then hand out the bundled rice to the men that have shown interest in them. The men must open the handkerchiefs and search the contents for his prize. If he finds one red chopstick, he has been politely rejected. Finding two chopsticks means that the girl is also interested in him. If he finds a pie needle, then the girl has yet to make up her mind, but he still has a chance. However, if he finds a chili, then he has been completely rejected, and this is the worst outcome of the festival. Whistling Whistling at a woman in the city will likely earn some dirty looks, but among the Kickapoo tribe in Mexico, it's used in a unique courtship ritual. Flutes were traditionally used prior to 1915 when whistling replaced the instrument. 
Couples would whistle to each other around dusk using special tones and codes so they recognized each other's messages. Some messages were as simple as when and where the couple would meet, while other messages could involve full conversations. While it's not as common nowadays, many men would teach their younger brothers how to communicate via whistles. Sheathed Knife In Finland, even as recently as the 19th century, courtship rituals were simple. When a woman reached marriageable age, she would attach an empty sheath to her girdle. Should she catch the eye of an unmarried man, he could then either buy or make an ornate blade to place in her sheath. No one said the finish were subtle. If she kept the knife, she would be indicating that she liked the man back and they could be married. If she returned the knife, they were being rejected and could no longer pursue her. Thimbles The Puritans were not known for showing intimacy in public and certainly felt that engagement and wedding rings were frivolous. Since they did not believe in fancy gifts of any kind, when a young man intended to marry a young woman, he would present her with a thimble. This was seen as a practical gift as the young woman could use the thimble as she prepared items for her new home. Clothing, linens, a simple gown, handkerchiefs and the like were all sewn prior to the wedding. Once married, the bottom of the thimble was sawed off and used as a wedding ring. Handkerchiefs Today, many people try to mask their natural scent with deodorant, perfumes, and colognes. But in parts of Europe, a suitor's natural scent was the key to a successful courtship. Once upon a time, European men would place a handkerchief in their armpit prior to attending a party or dance in order to cover it in his scent. While dancing, the men would produce the sweat-scented handkerchiefs to wipe the sweat off his partner's brow. It was believed that if she enjoyed the scent, she would fall madly in love. Alternatively, in 19th century rural Austria, women would place apple slices in their armpits while attending a dance and feed it to the men they desired. Usaba Samba Festival In the Balinese village of Tunganan, there is a highly ritualized event every May. Known as the Usaba Samba Festival, it gathers young men from the village together in a coming-of-age rite. When young men are of marrying age, they compete against each other in an arena while wielding the thorny leaves of the pandanus plant to impress possible wives. They are given a bamboo shield to protect themselves but are otherwise quite vulnerable. Blood is drawn during these festivals and the young women of the village are encouraged to observe the bouts. They are seated on a foot-powered ferris wheel of sorts to ensure all eligible ladies can see and it only stops when all of the men have competed. Have you ever done anything unusual to win someone over? Let us know what you thought of these courtship rituals down in the comments. Please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our awesome channel for more fascinating videos daily. Thanks for watching.